everyone, welcome back to another recipe. This one is an Ace High barbecue sauce from an old cowboy book, published by Wild Wes Medley. He called it the original cowboy cookbook, and he was a rodeo champion. So we're going to start off with adding some oil, heat it up, and then we add our onions, we're going to saute them. For those who may not know what this means, it just means to soften them up until they're clear, translucent. Once you've done that, we're going to throw in our garlic. In this one I've used some up that I've already pre-blended and mixed with olive oil. Just saves time. But in the recipe it calls for six cloves of garlic. So put them in, mix it up. Next we're going to add in our cider vinegar. Stir it all together. And then the next stage, we're going to put in our brown sugar. Once you've done that and it's all combined, it's time to put in the coffee. I used ground coffee in a French press. I think that's probably best. It does call for a strong coffee in the recipe. I'm not too sure if instant would work with some water, but you want a good flavour. Once you've added in the coffee, you're going to add your hot chilli powder and mix it all up again. Then we're going to add our ketchup and Worcester sauce. And then our final stages are going to be to add our chilies. In the recipe it does ask you to put in green chilli peppers, habaneros, jalapenos or serranos. I didn't have them so I just put in four small red chilies. However it did still come out quite spicy so I'm not too sure what it'd be like with jalapenos which are quite hotter even than that. Once it's all done mix it up and then we're just going to bring it to the boil and don't forget to season as well. Once it's brung to the boil, turn the heat down, let it simmer, about 25 minutes. It should then come down to a thick consistency and you can then finish it off by putting it in the blender, whizzing it up and there you go. You should come up with a nice barbecue sauce. I have put mine into a container and I'm going to leave mine in there for about a week or two because I think that will give it more time for the flavours to infuse together. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoy it. You can use it for marinades or just simple barbecue sauce. Bye!